Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in nines. In this tutorial, we will learn how to skip count in nines with numbers up to 100. Let's start with our first example. Now suppose we have this number 27. The question is, what number comes after 27 if we are counting in nines? Now there are many different ways you can do this. We're going to use two different methods. The first one is the, what we've used before, is the dot method. We're counting in nines, and therefore we're going to put nine dots here. One, two, this is a longer method, I might add. The second one will be quicker. There's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Our starting point is 27. Let's start counting. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So the number after 27, if we are counting in nines, is 36. We're now going to use our second method, which is a little bit quicker. Well, it's quicker once we've practiced it. This time we've got number 72. What number comes after 72 if we are counting in nines? Now, let's have a look at number nine. What is nine? Let's break it down. Nine is 10 minus one. Nine is 10 minus one. Therefore, what we need to do is add 10 and then subtract one. So let's write this down here. We're going to add 10 and then we're going to minus 1. Adding 10 and minus 1 means we're adding 9, which is what we want. Our starting point is 72. I'm just going to change colors for this. So what number 72 plus 10 is? Well, we simply just change the tens. 82. There's the tens. The 7 becomes 8. And now we're going to subtract 1. 82 minus 1, just count back 1. It's 81. That is our answer, 81. You add 10, because that's very simple, and then you subtract 1. If you do this, it's easier than simply just counting and adding 9. And with practice, you'll be able to do this in your head in no time. Now let's have a look at a number sequence. We've got 36, blank, blank, 63, another blank, and 81. So for the first one, what we're going to do is, we're going to use the dot method. We have to draw a nice big arrow, and we've got to draw nine dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We've got nine dots, we're starting at number 36. Let's start counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. That is our answer, 45. The number after 36, if we are counting in nines, is 45. For the next one, the next blank number, we're going to use our method of adding 10 and subtracting 1. So we've got 45. What number comes after that? I'm going to write down plus 10 here and minus 1. Plus 10 and minus 1 means we are adding 9, which is what we want. So the number 45, where's the 10s? It's here. It's 4. 45 plus 10 is 55. The units hasn't changed, only the tens. And now we subtract one, it becomes 54. That is our answer, 54. Now we've only got one blank space to find. It's from 63. And let's use the same method. We're going to add 10 and then subtract one. 
So adding 10, which one is the tens? It's this one here. It's the 6. 63, 63 plus 10 is 73. Then we minus 1, it becomes 72. And that is our answer. It really is very, very simple. And that is how we count in nines with numbers up to 100.